It's a hustle. It's better than leaning on a lamppost. Rita. People think I don't know. It's exactly what I do know. Don't mind me, I'm just one of the worker ants. Aren't we all? Familiarity breeds contempt, sweetheart. Don't worry. I'll stay out of your way. That's up to me. Swings like pendulums do. She didn't know I was following her. How could she? It wasn't me. I mean, if she'd gotten in the same room with me or gotten close, she would have known it was me. I could have covered every feature on my face except my eyes, and just from those, she'd have known. Sucks, Mayor. I'm gonna have to kill anybody to get in here. You know how dangerous it is for you to be seen in my yard? Well, I would lose in a sleepover. What I'm worried about is losing an election. An election your people have virtually assured me of winning. Why screw it up by coming here? Because you've been trying to screw me with your goddamn task force. But I've been moving my events around like a circus. I've got to look like I give a shit about the mutilations. It's a small price you have to pay to keep operating those massacres at all. Take the focus off me, Mayor. Impossible. Now. Now the focus will be on an assassin. Night's yard. We're standing in the backyard at the home of Mayor Philip Moroni, where just hours ago his body was found by his own security officers. With me is Police Chief John Hayworth. Chief Hayworth, I understand that the prime suspect in the murder of Mayor Moroni is one of your own detectives. That's mere conjecture. But isn't it true that Detective Morgan had been dismissed from the force and disappeared entirely? No, he was reassigned. He's a good man. Who had a publicly known hatred of Mayor Moroni. I won't comment on that. Stop rolling tape, or I'll break that thing myself. Cut. Fight! Fight! Mix it up!
you doing down there? Looking for Morgan. Why? You know, your men have big mouths. I've had a couple of run-ins with him myself. He's busted me twice. Well, he's a hunted man now, you know that. We have a common cause, okay? That's all I know. Can I help? You could. I haven't been home. I've got a hungry dog that misses our master. Go ahead. Come back when you can. Thanks. I like the free reign. Don't be stupid. It's not that free. Good evening! As you well know, this is our farewell lay boxing event. right but tonight we are pulling out the stops as you've all witnessed in my arenas men from all over the world come right here to compete but tonight i've got a very special local boy detective rick morgan i have shanghaied one of la's finest Ladies and gentlemen, when a cop enters the ring, the ante goes up, but the winnings, they can go through the roof. I think Connor didn't know it was Morgan. It's not in the eyes, bitch. And we saw through you, too. Ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the champion, Wayne Sue! Wayne Sue has never lost a match. <laughs> has ever lived. But our challenger, well, he's a uh, formidable foe. Like those we say for farewell bouts like these. People, what I want you to do right now is examine the blade boxers. Remember, the odds are on Wang Su. But the big money right here is on Morgan. You choose. How'd you know it was me? You wanted too much to be here, Morgan. All the others see what's going on and they wet their pants. If one or the other competitor is not defeated by the end of the first round, they will have their choice of either left or right talons attached to their hands. If neither competitor is dead at the end of the second round, we will attach talons to both hands. Of course, you may bet on each individual round. And for this final night of blade boxing, ladies and gentlemen, the house will double the odds. All right.
kind of like a crying wolf. You okay, Rita?
Get your little woman here with me. Let her go! Are you kidding? She's my armor, asshole! You sure you want to lose another mate to me? Fight. At least the cockfighter wasn't a chicken shit. You're giving him credit? Yeah, why not? Prick almost won. It's the corner, macho. Hey, how you doing? I can't wait to get right back on that horse. Damn right you will. Let's go. I don't believe you guys. It sounds like you're ready to go through all this again. Shit, yes! Look at me. 
I'm bruised and battered and skewered. But I do that again before I do this again. You people need to get in there and get nasty. I mean, look at yourselves, sitting on your butts, watching all the action instead of being action-packed. You can take what you want out of this, but I took Carter down because he was taking over us. Yeah, us, you guys. Hell, I don't even know if this isn't all a bunch of lies. Another setup so the department can rest on its bullshit laurels. You could die working with Morgan. And if you guys think he's a killer, then that's okay. But if he were a killer, then I can testify under oath that he'd be a damn fine one. <laughs>